I'd been doing a lot of work abroad and I was moving back to London and I'd started the kind of dreaded hunt for a spare room, as was the case with thousands of people across London and in other cities around the UK and around the world. The kind of demand was, was massive, but also the prices had gone through the roof as well. It made me kind of think, you know, is there another way in which I can find a way to live in London, uh, even in a location that I wouldn't even be able to afford any other way? and it gave me an opportunity to use my design and construction skills to not only make myself some kind of home, but also make an art piece and a statement at the same time as well. I'm Harrison, uh, I'm an artist and a designer, and this is my new little house in a skip where I'll be living uh, for the next year and have lived for the last two months. It's obviously got that kind of cabin feel, which is nice. And you do, once you're inside and all the windows are shut and the curtains are drawn, you do kind of forget that you're surrounded by busy roads and, you know, houses and buildings and everything. I can obviously draw the curtains, but even still in the mornings, you know, I can hear people walking past, people stopping, taking photographs, talking about it. But there's plenty of inconveniences as well from living here. Obvious ones are my toilet is a port in the corner of the site, so that's just a case of leaving the building every single time I want to come in and out. And then showering, I shower at work and I shower at the gym. I can cook, so I've got my cooker here and I've got a kind of makeshift sink. Actually washing up is one of the most inconvenient things because I don't have a proper like water and drainage system. So it's almost like washing up if you're camping, um, but it's nice. Something I hadn't quite expected was just how much of a community there is. So all the neighbors are incredibly friendly. Everybody that walks past here stops, you know, chats to me, asks what it is. I've got people coming in, helping out with the garden or bringing me bread or whatever it might be. So yeah, the project, obviously it is so, such a polarizing kind of project that you're inevitably going to get people that don't like it or just don't agree with the reasons for the project. This isn't supposed to be a solution or something which is replicated by other people, um, you know, nor should anyone want or have to live in a skip. Um, but it's, you know, it's something which worked for me. And I guess what I'm trying to hopefully spark is a different way of thinking about issues and finding ways to encourage people to use their creative um, experiences, their creative expertise to, you know, find ways of tackling issues. And it's, you know, you give like, you might have 10 great comments and then one bad comment. And obviously as an individual, it's very hard to not focus or hear the, the negative comments. Any art piece that is picking on a particular issue is always going to cause some kind of, you know, emotional response. And whether that's good or bad, if anything, it kind of adds to the the piece in a way. I think just the how far it's spread so quickly online and in media and everything kind of yeah highlights how much people relate to the issue and whether they think this project is helpful or not helpful. It's still you know touched their kind of you know thought process um, in a way that has you know, push them to comment or, or share it. You know, I've got people that have grown up on this street or my neighbors that are, you know, their family's based here, they've got jobs here and they're reaching an age where they're moving out 
and obviously the only place they can find is 10 miles 20 miles down the road and commuting back in to where they've grown up just to get to work and back the problem is with general media and news is you see the same headlines time and time again that it becomes kind of stale and it becomes almost normalized so you know five years ago if you're looking for a room at 700 pounds ah oh, it's too expensive but you know whatever you have to pay it then it's 800 pounds ah oh, it's expensive whatever i'll pay it and then it just every year it's just more and more and more and then you just kind of accept it but actually at what point <laughs> is it unacceptable at what point do you find a way to kind of fight back i know myself i know why i'm doing it and you know so do my friends and family so if if somebody doesn't like it whatever <laughs>